We're at the Las Lunas Silvery Mineral Refugium in Las Lunas, New Mexico. This is a place where we're going to spawn and raise the silvery minnow. It's a non-traditional hatchery. This is not just a series of square ponds or circular tanks. As you can see, it's designed to mimic the Rio Grande. And it's called a refugia because this is a place where we will have the fish so that we have a kind of an insurance policy in case something disastrous happens in the river, the species won't go extinct. And if something happens at one of the other facilities, such as, say, a disease, well, we'll still have, a we'll have fish here. So it's a refugia in that it's a refuge for the fish. So we just turned that ref word refuge into a refugium. In 1994, this fish was listed as endangered by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service and also by the states of New Mexico and Texas and also by the Republic of Mexico. So it is, uh, right now, it's, uh, we're trying to re recover the species, trying to get three self-sustaining populations of a half a million fish out there in the river. And once that happens for 10 straight years, then the fish can be removed from the endangered species list. There were three major design criteria. One was we wanted to incorporate in a single unit all of the different habitats that we think are necessary for the fish throughout its whole entire life cycle. The second thing we wanted was to be able to mimic the natural hydrograph of the river. And that includes a spring flood. And that's when the fish spawn. And right now, the facility is almost at flood level. It's just about an inch short of flood level. And the third thing we wanted to incorporate was minimize water use, because this is New Mexico, and New Mexico is water short. And being the agency that, does, that regulates water in the state, we have to do an example. So what we've got out here is we've got a 458-foot stream that meanders over a linear distance of 300 feet with a drop in elevation of only one foot. So it's kind of similar to the Rio Grande. There are five ponds. And some of them can be managed individually, and some of them are going to be uh, basically like a braided channel, so they're continuous with the river. And then there are shallow shelves that are only four inches deep, so the fish can choose. Do they want to be in water that's moving fairly swift? Do they want to be in water that's kind of slack? Do they want to be in deep water? Do they want to be in, sh in shallow water? In, a, in about a month or two, we're going to have put some plants out here, including willows, so the fish can choose sunshine or shade. There's different kinds of substrate in here, so they can choose where they want to go. So basically, this is a unique facility in that it's designed for the comfort and convenience of the fish, not for the convenience of the hatchery manager. Science is about trying new things, seeing, not being satisfied with the way things are, trying to find different ways to make things work, trying to make things more efficient. Even if something's working well, you, you dicker with it to see, well, can I tinker with this and change this and do I get a slightly different result? So as a scientist, it's a lot more fun to, to work with things which are on the cutting edge than to work with things which are just so dried and cut. It's like you can open up, up a recipe book and say, if I do A, B, C, and D, I can do this experiment. And it may be publishable and it, you know, there's nothing wrong with that but it's a lot more challenging and exciting to work on things where you're pushing the envelope. And this is pushing the envelope.